Hi everyone, so we're going to give an update on our daughter's post-op uh, condition after having the STEP procedure, the serial transverse enteroplasty, that was done on May 3rd of this year. Today is September 30th. So it's been almost five months since she had, she had the procedure done. And um, we've seen a lot of progress. Um, there still are some concerns that we have, but overall she's doing much better than she was before the procedure. Uh, before the procedure she was NPO. She wasn't able to take anything by mouth or G -tube. through her G-tube. <clears throat> um, so she's still not taking anything by mouth. She has oral aversion, and um, unfortunately we haven't been able to spend a lot of time working with her to try to um, change that aversion uh, and, and overcome that. Uh, so she's still not taking anything in my mouth. Um, but she's up to 61 milliliters per hour of um, Elicare formula that she receives through her G-tube. Um, she's taking that for four hours at a time, four times a day, so a total of 16 hours, which comes out to be close to a thousand milliliters uh, per day that she receives through her G-tube. So that's pretty good. Uh, big improvement from not receiving anything at all. Um, and she has gained so much weight. She has gained a lot of weight. So she's in, in fact, um, I was looking back at some of our records and in the past three months she has gained six pounds so I'm not sure how much she's gained overall since the surgery but uh, six pounds just in the last three months and she's one and a half years old so she now weighs 28 pounds and uh, and she's pretty actually uh, high on the scales compared to other children her age even uh, normal children without the short bowel syndrome so she's doing very well. She's obviously absorbing a lot of the formula that she's taken in, and that has allowed her to go down on TPN. We were up to a thousand, a thousand or maybe eleven hundred yeah, milliliters uh, per night on her TPN. She's now down to seven hundred, and um, the the contents of the of the bag. Uh, the, the nutritional part has been lowered significantly, and it's mostly just fluids, the doctor says, uh, that are left in her TPN bag to keep her from dehydrating. So she's doing very well. Um, there has been, lately, I'd say the last few weeks, a lot more vomiting than normal. Um, between, I mean, on average, probably around 100 milliliters a day, I would say, which is pretty high for her. Um, before... Uh, just a few weeks ago, she normally wouldn't vomit more than 10 or 15 milliliters a day, um, if at all. She oftentimes didn't throw up during the day. Uh, but now she's pretty consistently vomiting um, two or three times or more a day, usually between 15 to 30 milliliters. But we saw this uh, this vomiting start once we... Um started the ORS our doctor wanted to push uh, into getting her off TPN quicker by introducing ORS um, in addition to her feet uh, so we were giving ORS which is an oral re uh, oral rehydration solution salts yeah. they're salts so it's like electrolytes we're not sure uh, what's been causing the vomiting I'm not I don't think it's from her surgery uh, we're trying to figure out what the cause is. It, it may be from uh, an increased volume of fluids that she receives internally mm -hmm. through her G-tube because the ORS was introduced and that adds 150 milliliters per day mm -hmm. to her total volume that she receives in her stomach. And so we think that that may, may have been a contributor. Mm -hmm. um, there have also been some changes to her medication recently. So We've been playing around with some of those things to try to figure out mm -hmm. what's been causing the vomiting. Um, but overall, she's still doing very well, and the doctor is not concerned with the amount of vomiting that she's been having. 
although we as parents would prefer that she were not vomiting that much. Um, yeah, and so the doctor wants her to, she wishes that she could do ORS too, so that, that way we can get rid of TPN quicker. But again, it's just, I don't think she's ready to take that much volume in a day. And, and we also want to work with her on the, her oral skills. And if she's running things throughout the whole day, she's not hungry and she's not going to have that desire to put things in her mouth and, you know, work on that. So uh, we decided to stop ORS and just concentrate on the feeds and try to keep going up slowly. Um, but again, even if she vomits, she doesn't lose the weight. And her ostomy output also has been... Um, it's been good, uh, I will say. It it did increase once we started ORS, but never, I don't think he went over her limit, which was 400 ml a day. Uh, that, that's her limit, but she's always been, you know, between 150 up to 250 or something like that. But, um, and nothing else. And... Uh, and remember, she also has the Bishop Coop ostomy, so this also helps um, um, to use her colon. And and she's also been pooping a lot from her bottom, uh, so that's a good thing too. Um, that she is able to use her colon and and also absorb uh, whatever she can through there. And so, I think overall we we have only seen. Uh, improvement uh, from what she was at before um, and yeah but like I said we we still struggle with vomiting um, and um, yeah but overall she's doing she's doing very well anything else no yeah so when we meet with the doctor every three weeks or so uh, now we're on 15 hour TPN and very little lipids. Uh, we still do 12 hours three times a day with lipids, but it, it has decreased also tremendously. So her TPN right now is mainly water and some vitamins um, here and there, but uh, definitely the calories has gone down a lot since she's absorbing all the calories from her formula. So. So I will say it's been it's been good so far. We haven't had problems uh, as of now. So and we will keep updating, uh, you know, her condition and how she's doing, in in hope to help others. Um, you know, see how this works. All right, that's all for today. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.